goalies in the league that have double digit sing goals and three of them are on the Jets. You guys have four guys in the top 25 in league scoring right now. Um, I guess, what does it say to you, Mark? And is any of this a surprise to you to see so many guys putting up big points on your team? Yeah, I think we always knew we had a, we had a lot of skill on this team. Um, you know, a lot of guys that um, you can, can put the puck in the net, make plays. Um, you know, I think we, we always kind of knew that. And I think, you know, guys are, you know, guys are buying in, guys are doing the right things. And, you know, when you do the right things, you're, you're going to get rewarded. And I think that's the, that's the biggest thing to, to take out of it is just, you know, continue to do the right thing, continue to, you know, play the right way. And, you know, when you do that, then, you know, you'll get rewarded. We'll go next to Scott Billick from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Scott. Hey, Mark. Uh, Pierre Dubois last night says, you know, he's not quite 100% there with his game yet. Says he's taking cues from both you and, and, and Blake when it comes to, you know, just kind of strength and working out of the corners. I guess what, what have you seen from him just in, in terms of his physicality and his, his ability to kind of win those puck battles in the corners? Yeah, he's, he's fantastic at that. You know, that, that's, that's one thing that I know from watching him, from playing against him. That's, you know, a big part of his game is, you know, being able to protect the puck, you know, knowing how to use his body in, in those, in those situations. And, you know, for, for guys like me and Blake, you know, we, we thrive off that, you know, we, we like to, you know, get in the ozone. We like to crack the puck with our body and, you know, he's a, he's a guy that we're all learning from. We're all learning about his tendencies and what he, and the plays he can make. And I think it's, you know, you know, the first two games playing with him, it's been, it's been awesome. And, you know, we just have to continue to grow. I think that's the, that, that's the biggest thing is, you know, you have two good games and you can't just, you know, sit back and, and rest on that. You got to continue to work together. You got to continue to learn more about each other and each other's games. And, you know, um, you know, from learning about, um, you know, Doobie, he, he, he keeps doing that. He keeps wanting to talk about the game. He keeps on talking about, you know, certain things, you know, he wants to hold himself accountable for, you know, if he messes up a play or, you know, doesn't get a puck deep or whatever it is. And that's, you know, that's the way that me and me and Blake, you know, have always been is, you know, you do the right things over and over and over and you'll get rewarded. And, um, you know, you know, Doobie has been, has been fitting in great there. And, you know, he's a guy that I, I love to talk the game with. I love to, you know, you know, figure out things and, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, it, that's the fun part about hockey is that, growth and you know I, I love uh, I love doing that with him we'll go next to Guillaume Lefrancois from La Presse go ahead Guillaume hi Mark um, yesterday after the game the the Montreal players who spoke to the media were talking about a lot about overthinking uh, overthinking the game uh, maybe playing a bit nervously as an opponent is this something that you perceive on the ice throughout the game and then maybe something that you saw building as uh you know as you were piling up goals uh later in the game yeah you know we've all been through times where, where things aren't going as great and you know you might overthink you might you know try to do too much you know obviously you know just you know a new coach coming in you know, you're ramped up, you know, you want to, you want to do so much. So, you know, we've, we've all, we've all been through that. We've all been through, you know, good times and bad times. And, um, you know, that's part of the hockey, you know, you gotta, you gotta get through those adversity, that adversity to, to, to get to the top. And, um, you know, Montreal is a great team, um, you know, from, from goaltending to the defense to forwards and, um, you know, they, you know, it, there's a lot of things happening, you know, they just, they just fired their coach. You know, there's a lot of things that have happened in the last few days, but, um, you know, they're a fantastic team. They're a tough team to play against. And, um, you know, I'm sure they'll, they'll, uh, you know, they, they got to figure that out as a team and that <laughs> I don't have the answer for it. They're, they're the opponents. So, but, uh, you know, I, I, I have tremendous amount of respect for their team. They have so many, so many fantastic players on it, a lot of skill, a lot of everything. And, um, you know, it's just breaking through that adversity. We'll go next to Sarah Orleski from TSN. Go ahead, Sarah. Hey, Mark. Um, your point streak has been extended now. You're at 11 games, and I know you always speak about you know, putting the work in and trying to improve your game all the time, but wondering if there is one area of your game that you could point to that you feel you have improved upon this season, 19 games in. I don't know if, it, if it's one specific thing. I think it's, you know, it's everything, you know, that's, that's what I, I go home and do. I, I, I work on, you know, every little aspect of my game. You know, I, I spend, you know, a tremendous amount of time thinking about things to work on. And that's not just in the summer. That's, you know, every day, you know, that's from last night to, to, you know, falling asleep, thinking about a certain player or, or uh, that something that I can, I can work on or something that I can, you know, create some thought processes behind it to figure out. And, you know, that's, you know, that's part of hockey that I love. There's always things to work on. There's always things to, to get better at. And, 
um, you know, that's, that, that's the, the, the part of the game that's amazing. And, you know, uh, it, it's, it's also tremendous to have, you know, the, the supporting cast of guys that want to do the exact same thing as me. They want to learn, they want to talk the game, they want to figure things out. They want to go through that process of learning. And, and uh, you know, I love that. We'll go next to Paul Edmonds from Jets Radio. Go ahead, Paul. Hey, Mark. Thanks a lot for taking the time. I know that uh, you follow stats a lot in the game, and I'm just wondering, you have led the last number of years your team in the takeaway stat, and this year not only that, but you're leading the league in the takeaway stat. Do you have any meaning to that stat? And if you do, what does it say about your game? Yeah, I think that's just a matter of having a good stick. Um you know, you know, you watch, you know, I know growing up, you watched Pavel Datsuk. He was always the guy to, that, you know, led that, led that stat. Um, you know, another guy, Mark Stone's a guy that's, that's always up there in that category as well. So, you know, it's one of those things where it's just having a good stick, um, you know, being in the right spots. I think that that's the biggest thing is, you know, going to the right areas to be able to, you know, take it away, making good reads. That's, you know, that's when those, those happen. And, you know, when you don't make those good reads, then, you know, it's going to go the other way. So, um, you know, I think the biggest part of that is just, uh, you know, going to the right spots, making the good reads, being cognizant of, 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 of those reads. And then, you know, going over the, going over the game, the game tape and seeing, you know, what, what good reads happened, what bad reads happened. And then, you know, going back to the drawing board and figuring more and more stuff. So, you know, it's all part of that, that learning process. We'll go next to Kelly Moore from CJOB. Go ahead, Kelly. Hey, Mark, not only a good stick, but right now a hot stick, um, I think there's only two other players in the top 30 in NHL scoring that have a better shooting percentage than you. And during your streak, you're six for 12 uh, during the goal streak. Uh, have you ever had a run like this uh, before? And I guess we would include that uh, from your days in Barrie as well. I've had some pretty good streaks in, in my day, but uh, no, but in that, you know, in the NHL, you know, you, you never know what's going to happen. So, you know, all you can do is, is, is do the right things. You know, you don't go into a game, um, you know, expecting it to happen, but you know, when you do the right things over and over and, you know, with the, the, the players that I'm playing with, you know, they make it pretty easy on me. And um, you know, that's the fun part about it. I get to play with two fantastic, uh, you know, players um, that make great passes, make good reads all over the ice. And um, you know, I, I'm, I'm definitely very lucky to, to play with them and um you know, also at the same time, you know, it's only two games in. So, you know, we, we've learned a lot about each other, a lot of, learned a lot about each other's tendencies. And, you know, I'm very lucky to, to play with, you know, two guys of that caliber. Uh, we'll go next to Murat Atash from The Athletic. Go ahead, Murat. Uh, thanks, Gregor. And hi, Mark. I just kind of want to link those two ideas together, um, the takeaways and the points, because it seems like on a lot of your goals these days, you rewind the clip about 10 or 15 seconds and there's a takeaway involved. And I'm wondering if you can kind of speak kind of, again, you've spoken to it before, but how these concepts connect and why they're, why they're so connected. Well, it's like what we talk about all the time, you know, as a team is, you know, good defense leads to offense. And, um, you know, I think that's the, that's the situation here is, you know, you play good D, you have a good stick, you, you know, you're in the right spots, you're in the, you're making the right reads, um, you know, good things can happen. And, you know, like I said before, you know, when you play like guy, you, when you play with guys like wheels and doobie, they're gonna, you know, when you, when you, when you capitalize on those chances, when you have a good stick, when you turn a puck over, when you, you know, have a good, a good, uh, you know, make a good read in the D zone, it's going to create three on twos, two on ones, you know, offensive zone time. And, um, you know, and then, you know, you, I get to play with guys like, like that, you know, we're going to, we're going to, you know, try to capitalize and, you know, they make some pretty fantastic plays out there. So, um, you know, it's one of those things about just doing the right thing over and over. Just a couple more for Mark. We'll go back to Sarah Lesky from TSN. Go ahead, Sarah. Mark, just wondering, when you look at, um, we know how competitive you are, obviously, whether it be practice or in games, but how much are you paying attention to what other guys in this division, like the McDavid Matthews, are doing? And how much does that add anything extra, I guess, for you in terms of giving you maybe a little extra chip or motivation? Oh, for sure. <laughs> you know, that, that definitely pushes you to, to do more, you know, obviously I've been watching a lot of, a lot of the Canadian division and, you know, I've, I've, I've also learned a lot um, for myself from watching those guys play. I know definitely from, from watching Connor and Austin play, you know, you pick up little, little subtleties that they're, you know, the plays they're making, you know, little passes that they're making, you know, how, the way, you know, Austin shooting the puck, um, you know, all those little things, you know, you try to, you know, you get into a practice or you get into morning skate or whatever it is and you start to, start to think about that and um you know when you get to watch those guys 
you know, every single night. And you also get to watch those guys play against each other a lot. Um, you, know, you definitely pick up a lot. So, you know, I think that's the, that's the biggest thing when you get to watch these, you know, these you know, amazing hockey players in this league, you know, you, that, that's the, you know, I know Dale always told me it's free education. You get to, you get to learn from them. You get to pick up, you know, little things that they do and try them in practice the next day. And, um, you know, it's definitely been a, you know, it's part of that learning curve. It's about learning from, you know, the best players in the world and, and, and trying to add that to your game. Thanks very much, Mark. Thanks, Gregor.